On this episode, let's build an add-in that adds a text box in the ribbon that can highlight search results in the grid. Be sure to hit the website in the description to check out all the sample workbooks and code. So this add-in adds a text box, and if you type into it, it'll do a search for that string, and if it finds it, it'll highlight the cell yellow and bold the text black. It does parcel matches, so in this case, we did a RU, and you can see that run or russet stream all get highlighted, and same with uh, Rudy there. This also works well if you want to quickly identify a flag in a column, so in this case, paid yes, you can see all the yeses light up, or if you want to see the no's, you type no and see all the, the no's light up. So pretty straightforward add-in. Let's dive into how it works a bit. First, you have to with events uh, the application, so the add-in can see all the events that are happening for the active workbook. And how we do the highlighting is we just use conditional formatting. And so we have a couple format conditions there that we track. We create those on the fly, and then we watch the events in the sheet. So if the user were to switch sheets, we can delete the CFs. So let's take a look at the CF that does get made here. So once you do a search, you can just go to the CF manager to see the rule there. You can see it's a giant CF that covers all the rows, has a little if error on it, but just uh, search as well. And you can see that if the search is, returns true, then it's gonna highlight it yellow. So let's set a breakpoint so we can walk through the code after you hit enter. And so here we're just gonna check to be sure there's no active find, and then we cache the value, and then we're gonna go call create highlights, which will create the conditional formatting. And and then here we grab the search text, so you make sure there's no find actually happening again through the, the class called cFindManager. And you can see we're going to call format conditions.add for the active sheet range and then all the rows. You could try to optimize this a little bit by doing the used range. And that's when you would want to know where the top left is so you build the right CF there. In this case, I'm just kind of doing a blanket CF with the search string in those different spots. And so we can make that rule on the fly. A bunch of this here is just making sure the format's correct. So we format the borders correctly and the fill correctly and get all the tint and shades right. So this is where if you didn't like the bright yellow color and the bolding, you would come here and change that to whatever you'd like if you prefer an outline or something like that on the, on the find. And we make sure the CF is set as the top priority and stop if true, so that if it does get triggered, there's no other formatting going to be applied to it, just in case there's some other CFs there. And then we call ribbon.invalidate just because uh, we're using the ribbon, so we want to get a refresh on that text box. And you can see the results there. And with that, we're at the end of the episode. If it's interesting, give it a thumbs up. If it's incredible, give me a sub, and I'll see you on the next one.